More than 100 people gathered on Parliament Hill today with a simple message. You don't need to be a grown-up to be powerful. Organizers of the Cool It For Kids rally say a hot planet won't be a cool place to live. And the kids wanted everyone to think about that before it's too late. Hillary Johnstone has more. Conventional wisdom says adults are the teachers and kids are the students. 11-year-old Megan doesn't think so. She says adults have a lot to learn from kids about fighting climate change. I feel that this, this is the next generation and we all want to grow up and we want to have a family and we want to have air that isn't polluted. We want our kids to be able to swim in the water and play outside. This is our planet. We only have one planet. Megan is one of dozens of kids at Parliament Hill for a rally on climate change. Gay Taylor started the Cool It for the Kids Foundation in February. She says she wants to give kids the courage to speak out on climate change. The idea that a child would actually sort of speak truth to power in that way and say, you know, life is complicated, adults are in charge, and life is complicated, but the bottom line is I want to live in a secure world. Taylor also says she hopes music will nurture change. Children sang several different songs at the rally, including one written by an Australian man called I Am the Earth. The lyrics are simple. We share the future, stand side by side. One earth, one people, we'll turn the tide. Organizers say they hope the song will launch a Canada-wide movement. The idea has already caught on in Alert Bay, British Columbia. Children there produced a video of themselves singing I Am The Earth. Back in Ottawa, 10-year-old Megan says she feels like kids are starting to be heard. We're all in this together, the kids and the adults. We need to work together if we are going to help and stop climate change. After the rally at Parliament Hill, the kids and the grown-ups marched side by side along Ottawa's streets. The parade ended here at Canada's Human Rights Memorial, but the kids say that their fight against climate change won't end until adults take notice and cool it for the kids. Hillary Johnstone, CBC News, Ottawa.